the Battle of Arras from the 9th of April to the 16th of May 1917. During the First World War, the British launched an offensive with the Canadian, New Zealand, Newfoundland and Australian troops where they attacked the German defence near the French city of Arras on the Western Front. The Allied forces sustained over 158,000 casualties and the Germans 130,000. During the battle, over 2,600,000 shells were fired. Known as the Tigers of the Somme was the Leicestershire Regiment 8th Battalion of the 21st Division 110th Infantry Brigade who participated in many battles of World War I from the Somme, Flanders, Arras and the Scarpe. They were known as fierce fighters who often engaged in hand-to-hand -hand and bayonet fighting. On the 3rd of May 1917 Lance Corporal Leonard Ballard died in the Battle of Arras and was buried with military honours in a war grave north of the destroyed city. Leonard Ballard was the great-grandfather of Paul Ballard and Helen Clark, Paul being Motorev member Escobar and Helen being Alby's wife. Due to a mechanical issue with Escobar's bike he could not participate in this tour but we vowed as a team that we would find his great-grandfather's grave and pay our respects. This is our journey to find Leonard's grave and after 105 years of resting in peace we will reunite him with his family. Yeah, I found the actual gravestone. Oh, what's he called, Alby? Well, Leonard Ballard. Clear, clear. Yeah, there's, there's a little Canadian cemetery there. In that tree. What did you say, a little Canadian cemetery? There's a little, little Canadian cemetery there. Oh yeah, just there. There's a memorial as well there. So most of this would have been flattened and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yep, go. Well, this would have been all fields at the time, wouldn't it? All this. Oh yeah, it would have been. Yeah. Yeah, call the call the car pass because we're coming up to an island. Call a mound. Go on, give me a signal. Go round. Probably won't go round on this bend, will they? I don't know. Yeah, they've gone. Right, we're, we're up behind you now, but we've just got to wait for LB in there, not now. Straight over, straight over this island, second exit. Are you through the lights yet, Al? Yeah. Straight over on this next island, you come to. You're waiting for my bear. Yeah. We're pulling up now on the dual carriageway after the roundabout, so. Right, straight across here. So, this is the area now, Rockling Court. This is where most of the British soldiers were brought to, bury, to be buried. Right boys, we're here. I love researching all this stuff, I find it fascinating. There's another, you got another, another graveyard here on your right. There's another one. There's another one. It's all open ground as well, isn't it, if you notice? All open ground, isn't it? I 
Lachlan Court, this is the place. Here it is, Commonwealth War Graves. So where Leonard's grave is, I'll be. That is his original burial place. Because a lot of them, a lot of the soldiers, they was buried and then that was transferred to uh, the proper war graves. Um, but where he's buried is, it was actually his burial place. And that was the only, that was the only good thing the Germans did do. They buried the dead. Although there was butchers as they was, they would bury the dead. And that, and they. And, and they would notify like, the, British, the British authority where the graves were. There was always that kind of um, show of respect in war. Always buried the dead and you always told them where that was buried. That's, that's the thing though, when it mainly with the, um, the SS. The SS were the killing the civilians. They were killing the people, not so much the, the soldiers. It just would have been nice if we knew exactly where Leonard, what part of the battle he was in, where he died. Because obviously, with Bear's grave, we know the exact spot he crashed. Just would have been nice to have found that out. Yeah, yeah, we found the grave. We've actually found the pictures of the wreckage, what they recovered from it. The graveyard's just behind this airfield. There's an airfield here. The, gra the graveyard just over there, somewhere, somewhere by them trees. Right, we're turning left. Clear, clear. Still clear, Darren. Still clear, Darren. Here we go, Albie. Here's the, here's the graveyard. Just on the right. Escobar. It would have been nice for you to have come and seen this, buddy. But what we can always do is when we do the Swiss Alps next year, we've got to come down here so we can always bring you. Absolutely. Well, just watch this road. It's. Fuel Road Cemetery. <coughs> what I'll do, uh, I'll be. I've got the details on my phone of where his gravestone's located. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That'll do. This is it. Leonard Ballard, the baby dear. We'll go inside and have a look. Let's find his grave. E34. 
E34. Right, so we just pulled up at the the memorial site and the graveyard of Great Grandad Ballard. <laughs> well, I'm getting a bit emotional here. Wow. So we're going to go and see his grave. This is for you, Escobar, and for you, Nelly, my beautiful wife. Because when you think about it, I owe my entire family, my kids, my grandkids, my wife, everything to uh, to this man. So yeah, quite emotional. I'm going to go and say thank you to him. So if we can find Maria's amongst all the other brave souls. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? It is, I mean, the respect they have. For the for the tigers. Here we go. Lance Corporal Leonard Ballard, Leicestershire Regiment, 3rd of May, 1917. There we go, buddy, mate. We found him. You got him. Look at that, we even found it's got his logo mate. There he is buddy. Your great grandfather. Wow, look at all these brave souls. There he is, that's the man. Wow. Oh, I can see the symbol, yeah. Wow. Look, I'm getting quite emotional. <laughs> <laughs> we found him. Yeah. Well, when you think about it, I just said, when you think about it, I own my entire family to this guy. Yeah, you wouldn't be my here kids, if you were. My kids, my grandkids. Yeah, no. You wouldn't exist. Wow. My mate, we never told you. Have a minute. <laughs> there he is. The Governor Ballard. Wow. Here he is. The man himself. Lance Corporal Leonard Ballard. Leicestershire Regiment. Died the 3rd of May 1917. And there's his number, 33006. Wow. That is awesome. Well, Leonard, I don't know what to say. Quite emotional. Great granddad. I would love to shake your hand for the wonderful family you left behind, which I am now part of. My beautiful wife of 42 years, my kids, my grandkids, my fantastic brother-in-law, Pablo, or Escobar, as we know him. Uh, come a long way to see you, to say thank you for everything you've done. You and all your fallen comrades. You're all so brave. You're all heroes. Thank you for everything. God bless, rest in peace. I want to put a little thank you here across. Thank you for your bravery and sacrifice and thank you for my family. Rest in peace. Probably the first one you've had in a while. It might be the last one you get for a while but you're always going to be in our thoughts. Probably weren't your thing in them days, but it'd be a kiss anyway, thank you. Bless. <laughs> I'm not a military man, but I still want to salute you for everything you gave. Wow. Awesome. God. Awesome, eh? Man, found okay. it. Yeah. What have you? you get, to get a picture. Come and kneel down behind it. Okay. Get a picture. Yeah. Get a pic a picture. Okay, mate. We got him, brother. I said my thank yous to the man himself. He's even got his uh, Escobar's badge on his t shirt. Last year, Reg the Tiger. Yeah. So Hello, fierce. Escobar. Guess where we are? We certainly are. 
He's standing right next to it. Look, there he is, the man himself. Made me cry. <laughs> Made me really emotional. I put a little crust down for him, for us. No, honestly, mate, it's just, I wish he was here, mate, I really do. But, yeah, you should have. Honestly, Paul, the, the whole site is immaculate around here, the grave site. It's, it's beautiful. Really is lovely. It's absolutely beautiful place. So clean, so kept cl respectable. No pen, so I can't leave a message, but you can do that next time we come. You can leave it in there, okay? In the land on which this cemetery stands is the free gift of the French people for the perpetual resting place of those of the Allied arms, armies who fell in the war of 1914 to 1918 and are honoured here. Well, here we go then. Off to see bears now. Right, thanks for that. Hey, buddy. Awesome, mate. What a place. Hey. Oh, she's got a piece, mate. I'm oh, surprised it made me so emotional. Yeah. Really nice. Well, if it wasn't for him, he wouldn't be here visiting today. No, I wouldn't have to Yeah. Well, would I? Wow. It's when, I think it's when it hit me when I thought Yep. Yeah. All the grief, all the pain, all the grief you lock in me, it's worth it to bring you to come and see your families. Makes it all worth it. Leonard, we'll see you again, brother. <laughs> <laughs>